Hey, what's going on guys? Today I got a little special treat for you. We got the RBK850 tri-band system from Orbi. And this might be the greatest mesh router ever created. If you're looking for the fastest internet speeds under $700, then the Orbi is definitely up your alley. So how does the Orbi RBK850 stack up to the rest of the competition? Is it going to be useful for every daily use? How easy is it to set it up? Let's find out. Setting the Orbi RBK850 tri-band system up is as easy as setting up any other previous systems. First, you download the companion app, and then you follow the on-screen instructions, and then you create your account. It's easy as that. Now you just turn the router on, and you're going to connect it to your modem, and this even includes an Ethernet cable, so you don't have to go out and buy one. And then you can easily use your phone's camera to scan the QR code on it so it just connects. And then you create an admin name and password for added security, you can change your network name and password, it'll update the firmware, and then you just connect the satellite nodes in a similar fashion. In my opinion, these things are kind of bulky and really hard to hide if you don't like the look of them, unlike some other competitors. But they are small enough to just fit on your desk or on a bookshelf, and if you really want to, you can buy a wall mount from Netgear too. However, one thing I do like about the bill is that it comes with four ethernet ports. They have one gigabyte per second transfer, which is kind of handy. However, I would have liked them to add some sort of USB for storage or maybe even a printer access. Each unit has eight smart antennas on the inside, but they can't be aimed or replaced if something ever happens to them, but they do get you 5,000 square feet of coverage. The companion app and the website that comes with it comes with a wealth of configuration options. I really like this part. The app's home screen displays the basics right away. It's got the network name and how many people are connected to it. And if you're a gamer like me, you can easily test the internet speed to check your upload and your download speed. If you tap the settings tab, you can easily change your name, your password, enable a QR code, and I was so easily able to create a guest network as well. If you're looking for more to do with the settings, the web browser is definitely what you're looking for because it has DNS selection and has port aggregation as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't support 160 megahertz bandwidth and you can't change your signal strength. So the Orbi will actually also connect to your smart home devices. So if you have an Alexa or Google Assistant, it'll connect and then you can perform basic functions with your voice. It has a one year warranty if anything breaks or something goes wrong but it does only have 90 days of free 24 seven customer support. The app also has a link to the support page. So if you need some help with some troubleshooting, you can easily go on there and see if you can find your problem, solve it yourself. I think the Orbi offers quite a range of security selections like WPA3 security to keep your information safe. You get a one year free subscription to Netgear Armor, but after that it costs about $70 a year. What you'll get in that one year time with Armor is you'll get anti-malware protection. You'll get real-time alerts for events that happen on your network, and you can block any kind of harmful websites. If you're looking for something where you want a little more security features, the TP-Link Deco X60 is probably where you want to go. It has more in-depth parental controls, an intrusion-based system, and it offers a free home care system. But it has inferior specs and overall performance just doesn't match up. You get a Qualcomm Networking Pro 1200 chip a two gigahertz quad processor, one gigabytes of RAM, and 512 megabytes of flash storage. It utilizes 12 stream tri-band technology, and so it can deliver a maximum of up to 1200 megabytes per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band. And then on either of the five gigahertz bands, you can get up to 2400 megabytes per second. The five gigahertz band also acts as a backhaul channel to maximize data transfer. It also supports Wi-Fi 6. I thought the Orbi's performance was actually quite impressive. It was noticeably faster than other Wi-Fi 5 and 6 routers at the similar price points. It had no problem connecting through ceilings or floors or walls. The signal strength didn't change at all. I had no issues at all streaming 4K content, downloading large files, or going through other daily tasks as well, even when I had hungry bandwidth things connected to it. If you're looking for a more affordable option, the Lynxys Velop AX4200 is definitely that one for you. It comes under just under $500 and it performs well in a similar tasks, but it does have a slower data transfer rate. Overall, I believe the Orbi RBK850 is an excellent mesh router and performs outstandingly well. With its impressive data speed and its generous amount of LAN ports, it's rightfully considered one of the best mesh routers under $700. Is it right for everyone? No. The TP-Link Deco X60 offers superior security changes and if you're looking to save some money, the Lynxys Velop AX4200 is definitely the one for you under $500 and it performs almost close to the same, but just not as fast. However, this Orbi is meant for large spaces, heavy duty usage, and great signal coverage. However, 
I don't believe it's the best mesh router for under $700 and you could probably get a better quality for cheaper options. But hey, that's just my opinion. Why don't you guys tell me your opinions in the comments below. And if you're looking for updated prices, check the links in the description. If you also like this video at all, why don't you give it a like? And then why don't you subscribe if you like shorter tech information videos? It really helps the channel grow. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.